Ever found yourself pondering about how breast development occurs? It's a fascinating journey that starts when females transition from childhood to adulthood. This natural process, intricately woven into the tapestry of human growth, is greatly influenced by a cocktail of hormones and the blueprint of our genetics. It's a symphony of biological events, perfectly orchestrated and unique to each individual. So, if you've ever been curious about the stages of this journey, you're in the right place. Now that we've set the stage, let's delve deeper into the stages of breast development. First, we have the pre-pubertal or pre-adolescent stage. This initial stage of breast development typically kicks off before the age of 10. Now you might be wondering, what exactly happens during this stage? Well, at this point in a young girl's life, there's usually no discernible breast tissue present aside from the nipple. That's right, the chest remains relatively flat and undeveloped. But don't be fooled, this doesn't mean nothing is happening. On the contrary, the body is quietly preparing for the changes that are soon to come. Remember, every journey has a starting point, and this is where the journey of breast development begins. It's a stage of subtle groundwork, laying the foundation for the more visible transformations that will occur in the stages ahead. So, while it may seem like a quiet period, it's an essential part of the process. With the first stage covered, we move on to the start of noticeable changes. Next, we have the budding stage, which is the beginning of breast growth. This stage of development is often referred to as the budding stage because it's when the first small buds of the breast start to form. This stage typically commences somewhere between the ages of 8 and 13, but it's important to remember that everyone's body develops at its own unique pace. During this budding stage, the areola, or the darkened skin around the nipple, begins to enlarge and puff out a bit. Along with this, the breast bud, a small bump that forms under the nipple, starts to appear. These changes are the first visible signs of puberty in girls. It's also worth noting that this stage of development can sometimes cause tenderness or discomfort, which is perfectly normal. It's all part of the natural process as our bodies begin to mature. As this stage concludes, we transition into further growth and development. Now, we progress into stages 3 to 5, where the real growth happens. In stage 3, often referred to as the continued growth stage, the breast and areola continue to enlarge, creating a more rounded and full appearance. The nipple too may start to stick out a bit more, making a noticeable change in the overall shape of the breast. This stage typically occurs during the mid-teenage years and is a clear sign of ongoing puberty. Moving on to stage 4, we witness a fascinating transformation known as the secondary mound stage. Here, the areola and nipple form a secondary mound above the level of the breast. This means that the areola and nipple appear raised, creating a sort of double bump look. This stage usually unfolds over a year or two and is a unique and crucial part of breast development. Finally, we arrive at stage 5, the mature stage. This is where the breast reaches its adult size and shape. The secondary mound formed in the previous stage disappears and the breast becomes rounder and fuller. The nipple and the areola also form a single mound on the breast. This journey from stages 3 to 5 is an amazing transformation that every female body goes through. It's a natural process, signifying the body's readiness for adulthood and motherhood. With these stages, the process of breast development completes. So there you have it, the journey of breast development. As we've navigated through this process, it's important to note that these stages serve as a broad roadmap rather than a rigid timetable. We all blossom at our own pace, and there's a beautiful diversity in the shapes and sizes of breasts. From the prepubertal stage to the final contouring, every step is part of a unique journey. Some may breeze through these stages while others might take their time, and that's perfectly okay. What's considered normal encompasses a wide spectrum, and it's crucial to remember that there's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to our bodies. However, if you find yourself worried or anxious about any aspect of your breast development, don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional. They can provide the necessary guidance and reassurance. Remember, every body is unique and develops in its own time and way. That wraps up our discussion on breast development. Keep exploring. Keep learning.